Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back once again into the another exercise video. Uh, and we have a very interesting question of finding domain and range, you know, of the real function f of x equals to minus of absolute value of x minus of modulus value of x. All right. So first, I just want to uh, show you the function a little properly. Okay. So modulus value of x. What do you understand by modulus value of x? You know already. I have already explained so many times what is modulus value of x. You know, modulus value of x will always give you a positive number. Right? That's it. I don't want to discuss anything more. Just it will give you always a positive number, and the graph of this will be like this. Okay? Whatever you put, you know, whatever you put, either positive x you're putting, you'll get y as a positive. If you're putting negative x, you'll get positive. At any cost, you're gonna get this quantity as a positive, all right? So, so simply, I want to say this is positive number, and in front of that, you have a negative number. So, negative times positive, finally, you'll get a negative things, all right? So, x, you know, here if you say x is uh, is a real number, x belongs to real number, all right? Then that time, like what you're going to put, you know, the thing that we're going to put in machine, you know, like like this is a function, right? F of x equals to minus x all right this is a function so what we're we going to put here all right the input you know what is our input input is our domain all right uh, you know the members of domain will be inputting and output will be our range right whatever the output will be getting that is that will be our range so here x you know x represents a member of domain uh, that is from real number. So simply I can say, you know, I can put anything like minus 2 I can put, minus 3 I can put, uh, minus 100 I can put, I can put 1000, I can put uh, 1 billion, whatever I can put, you know, all the real numbers I can put. So simply what I can say that uh, domain is, domain is, uh, you know, all real numbers. Simply I can say real number. But about range, I have to tell you something, all right? Range is always going to be negative numbers, all right, and zero also. If if x is equals to zero, okay. Uh, so why? Because let's see. I just want to say like if I'm putting for a while, let's say f of three, I'm putting. Then what I'm going to get minus of three. That's minus three, all right. And if I'm going to put minus three also, all right. If I'm going to put minus three in the function, then I will get minus of minus three. You know, in the modulus value, and this is minus, and minus three will give. The modulus value of minus 3 will give us uh, the plus 3 and finally I will get minus 3. So again I am getting number, negative number. So uh, this is just one case like if I am putting 0 then I will get uh, and that, that is 0 actually. Okay, So finally 0 I am getting. So simply I want to say the domain is all real numbers and the range is negative real numbers and maybe possible 0 if x is 0. Better you can write this range uh, negative real numbers and 0 as you know negative real numbers. Uh, the end point is like let's say negative infinity and from there to till zero all right so you know in a number line if you see so the your range will be including this zero including this zero till this negative infinity all right it's negative infinity and this is positive infinity so positive number not chance so this all is your range okay